Hello, hello, hello. Cheers, Kevin here, and welcome to a quick video on faster audio editing using Auto Hotkey. Recording uh, long-form audio and editing it can be a real pain in the butt. You make mistakes, you have to go back and find where all those mistakes are. If you're doing punch and roll editing, then you're paying the price of having to pause and stop and rewind and start over. Um, what I've been doing is called open record, which is just, hey, I leave the thing recording every time I make a mistake, I stop, um, I make a little marker on the audio track, and I try and fix it. You can actually see that here in Adobe Audition. I've got um, all of these spikes are places where I've made a mistake. You can, you can snap, you can clap. Um, in my case, I use a dog trainer uh, to make a little noise that's going to pop up on that waveform. If I go through, then, my job as editing me is to go through and find all of these mistakes and then edit them out. So master them, master them. Master them. Okay, so clearly I tried master them and screwed it up twice, so I'll go ahead and just delete that. Move on to the next one. Master them. Oh, that's the same thing. Master them. That's the same thing, too. Go through, do all this, and then master them. Oh, God, another one. Okay, fine. <clears throat> now I've got to move on to my next edit. I can scroll along this way, or... Uh, where is... Uh, well, I don't... Yeah, okay, there's one. Most important most important. Okay, fine. Go through, edit that out. And this is the process, going through and editing out those retakes, those dumb mistakes that you've made. I found an easier solution that I want to share with you today. So uh, rather than using a little clicker to, uh, to denote when I've marked errors, um, I set up auto hotkey to actually let me rebind a presentation remote's key to send an, the M key to Adobe Audition, which tells it to add a marker. So if I hit M, it goes ahead and adds a marker. If I hit this button here, it adds a marker, but it also does that little beep tone so that I know that it has added a marker. This is helpful for me because I don't always have uh, the, uh, the Adobe Audition in the foreground when I'm recording. I may have the script taking up the full screen. I don't want to tab away to add a marker that says, oh, I screwed up. I can just go ahead and hit this thing while I'm recording. How your life is different, now you have more confidence. And boom, just I'll go ahead and add that. So, uh, yeah, I screwed up, I'll go ahead and add that marker. Now we have this marker in here, and I have this long list of all of these markers. You'll notice that this uh, this audio waveform, unlike the first one, does not have all of those big uh, those big spikes. Does not clip because there are none of those claps, snaps, or uh, clicker noises there. Instead, we have all of these markers every time that I've made an error. What I can do then is I can jump back and forth um, between all of these with Control Alt and uh, the arrow keys. So I can go ahead, if I go, to the, if I go to the very beginning of the file, the first one here is, I think, just me mumbling. There we go. I've left a marker. Yeah, okay. And uh, we go ahead and cut that. Cut out the beginning of things. I can go ahead and jump to the first area where I've screwed up. You may also, you may also, okay. You may also, there we go. That's, that's what I need to edit out. I'm going to go through here. I'm going to do a visual select. I'm going to hit delete. And now what I could do now is move on to the next marker by hitting Control alt and the right arrow. The next marker is right over here, and I don't have to worry about going to my mouse and finding all that. I can just say, there. But there's a little bit of a problem here. Probably this area, uh, this, this error, is one where I'm going to want to trim out this stuff too. What I prefer is if the playhead were centered when I jump to the next marker, right? Rather than, rather than me having to then go ahead, jump to the next marker, and then scroll the thing back into view. Well, what I can actually do is I can hit the home key, and then I can hit this, and it will actually send to the marker for me. And here I can see, okay, yeah, I am going to need to edit a little bit more. I can get all these markers out in one go. Once you have written this, and write down, let's see, then below, okay, and write down, and ta okay, in fact, that one's probably not an issue. This, let's see, how your life is different, and write down. How your life? Actually, you know what? I think that marker is uh, is incorrect. Uh, yeah, I think that one's a mistake. Anyway, so I can go through and I can do that. But here's the here's the even cleverer part. In addition to just binding this presentation remote thing, I've also bound one of my mouse buttons to do that entire process of deleting the visual selection, hitting the home key, and then doing the Control Alt right arrow. So if I look here with my new then below what you can see, with my new, okay, there's the there's the bit that I need to cut out. I'm going to hit a single button on the, on the mouse. What it's going to do is it's going to delete, and then it's going to go home to the beginning of the track, and then hit Control-Alt-Right to move to this next marker, marker number nine. So I'm going to do that right now. And there we go. We're at marker number nine. You didn't see it jump back and forth because it just did those all in rapid succession. So I don't have to worry about it. Instead, when I'm going through and editing, I can just focus on the individual edit and where the error is. Really spe and write down. Okay, so this one's just some extra empty space. Hit the button. One. One. Okay, retake. D. D. Okay, so screwed up twice on that one. 
Let's C. see here. A C. Okay, that's that one's some empty air. Uh, this one. C. C. Okay. There we go. E. E. Okay. And B. 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 The beautiful thing about this is that I don't have to worry about refining stuff. All I have to do is set up the visual selection, hit the button, set up another visual selection, hit the button, and do it over and over and over again. It's automatically recentering me around the context of wherever the error is. So all that I have to do is worry about, all right, where's the where's the flub take? How do I get that removed? And I can quickly speed through the entire rest of the process. Let me pull up real quickly um, the actual... Uh, code for this because it's really simple. This is using auto hockey, which is for Windows, which lets you just rebind stuff. Um, you can rebind one key to press a couple of things. So you see when I press my extra button one, which is uh, my extra mouse button, it sends the delete key, the home key, and then control alt right, which is just the, the process that I would do. And it turns out if I don't actually have a visual selection highlighted, that's entirely fine. The delete key does nothing. So it just jumps to the beginning of the track and then goes to my first marker. So I can just hit that button all day long and immediately I'm at the first place where I need to be making an edit. The second bit is uh, the period key because presentation remotes generally have their buttons bound to uh, individual keys. It says, all right, make a sound beep at 120 or at 1200 hertz for 100 milliseconds and then send the M key to Adobe Audition even if it's not the currently active application. So that if I'm looking at my script, all I have to do is, okay, no, not that time. Hmm, interesting. There we go. All right. All I have to do is hit that and then I get my marker and the indication that it has been added. So this has saved me a huge amount of time, just a very tiny script like this, and uh, I figured I would share it with you in case you find it helpful, because, man, the snapping and the clapping is great, but when you got to go back and edit and finding all of those and tracking all of those down, it can really slow you down. Being able to in immediately jump from problem to problem to problem and get through the file, man, it's really, really great. So I hope that's helpful, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.